Welcome to the Legionnaire. What I thought we'd do today is a quick video on using the Scutum in combat. So, uh, I've, what I've seen floating around on social media and different forums is the assertion by academics and, and laymen like myself that you can use the, uh, the umbo, the centre part of the shield, the Iron Dome, uh, to strike the enemy with. Um, sounds like a great idea. Sounds almost plausible until you pick up um, a Scutum. And I will show you what I mean right now. So, transversal grip, overhand, you've got an overhand grip, which is how, how you hold it, in your left, in your left hand, right hand for, um, for the uh, gladius. And I will strike forward with the umbo. And look, ended up with a very awkward strike because the center of uh, gravity causes the shield to tilt back, or the grip. My, my overhand grip is causing this to tilt back onto my forearm. So the scoop is quite good if you're in formation and you're, push, you're pushing back against a, uh, a mass, uh, a mass of uh, people moving towards you. So you can put, you can get your shoulder into it, but um, at arm's length, it's not very practical. So how can we uh, sort of turn the odds in our favour? Well, we can flip it like so. So now holding it like like this we can actually strike a bit more effectively so i can jab um, but again it's quite long and ungainly not very well balanced in this position so if i strike forward and anything catches it on either side it's twisting it's moving around so again i've got to be extremely lucky if i want to strike uh, anything with with the uh, with the umbo so how can we use this shield well, we can use a shield's edge. Shield's edge is actually quite effective. Um, I've got a background in law enforcement and using the edge of a, uh, of a riot shield was actually banned because it was so effective. Uh, you can actually cause some quite serious injuries with, with, with the edge of a shield. So that's in the modern day. That also applies to 2000 years ago. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Um, if you're holding the shield in this, in this manner, you could possibly use the bottom part of the shield to strike at the, uh, at the shins or land it down hard on the foot, uh, break some metatarsals. Um, or you could wind up and strike like so with, it, with, the, with this edge. You can't strike with any of the other edges because of where they're positioned. It's just not practical. So this is the only part of the shield that's available to you on this style of shield. Well, the, what I would say, the, the conclusion is, is that using the umbo is impractical because of uh, the, the issue with balance and then also the, the, the size of the shield. And then using the edge of the shield is a bit more effective, but only if you're striking at the lower part of the body. Um, if you're having to wind up, like I said, and then strike higher, um, you're completely exposing yourself and uh, therefore um, sort of negating the, 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 whole, uh, the whole reason for having a shield in the first place. These are just my thoughts. Obviously, I'm not a specialist. I'm just a, uh, what we call a, an enthusiastic layman. But yeah, if you've got any thoughts on this or if you disagree with anything I say, um, I'd love to hear from you. And um, just uh, thanks for watching. And I will be back with another video as soon as I can.